So I think I'll begin with uh, Dr. Deborah Safir and the project AU2P. Uh, please, I will let you introduce yourself. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, thank you. Uh, I'm here on the uh, behalf of uh, the consortium, the EU2P consortium, to present the European program in pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology. Uh, I am uh, the coordinator of that product of that project, and I'm from Roche. Uh, the managing entity is the University of Bordeaux II, uh, uh, represented by Annie fourier regla So, uh, starting uh, to present this project, we can ask ourselves, what does academia, industry, or patient needs within the European field? Uh, we did develop a little video to explain what do we think within Europe uh, do these people need. And I will start my presentation by showing you this little video. According to these needs, uh, we can ask ourselves, what can EU2P, the European program, will do about this? Well, our response to these needs, uh, we think that there's a growing need to well-trained professional specialists and non-specialists within the field of pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepidemiology. We have to develop an educational curriculum with a high level of excellence. We have to improve the understanding and the effectiveness of medicine risk communication and develop innovative modular and interactive e-teaching and e-learning methods. 
Why is EU2P an innovative approach? First of all, we have gathered the best of the pharmaceutical industry, regulatory authorities and academy within the field of pharmacovigilance and pharmacoepi. The consortium has 15 major pharmaceutical companies, has a European and French medicine agency, and seven of the European University, the most famous within Europe. Within the Netherlands, we have the University of Erasmus, the University of Utrecht. Within the United Kingdom, we have the University of Esfershire. In France, the University of Bordeaux, who's the managing institute. In Spain, we've got the Catalan Institute of Pharmacology. In Italy, the University of Verona. And in Sweden, the Karolinska Institute. It is also innovative by the approach of the close private and public partnership in the learning outcomes definition, in the course content deployment, and the internship follow-up. For the first time ever, we will deliver a European joint certificate and diploma, master's and PhD, recognized by a private and public partnership. We will target all stakeholders, not only professionals, but patients and students. Within the professionals, we will not only target the specialists, which is industry, regulatory, academic, pharmacovigilance experts, biostaticians, and healthcare provider, but we'll try also to target the journalists, venture capitalists, insurers, and other non-specialists who would like to join the program. The students will be students that will be graduates in medicine, pharmacy, veterinary medicine, or other biological scientific fields. The other very innovative approach will be the e-learning format, which will allow people, the best expert in the field, to join also on-job training. We'll have sandwich courses with professional-based learning that will ease people to follow masters, even following their professional life. And I'll come back to that later on.